Hey guys, welcome to Lightroom Everything, and today I'm doing a quick tips and tricks guide on 3D printing. So here I have a heated bed with the Printrite 3D, which is the 3D printer that I'm using. It doesn't come stock like that, so if you're interested on how I install it onto the Printrite 3D, I recommend you see that video before we continue. So the reason why you have a heated bed is to help the cooling process so it doesn't cool down too quickly and when plastic cools it shrinks a little bit so the corners will tend to curl up and you want to try to avoid that as much as possible so that's why I'm using a heated bed. So to go along with a heated bed you also need to have good adhesion otherwise you'll still get a little bit of curl when you're uh, printing or sometimes the parts will actually slide off the print bed because you're using a piece of glass that's very smooth. There's other um, materials that you can use like aluminum. I haven't tried it. I don't know exactly how well things um, adhere to it. Okay, so the next step would be to clean off the piece of glass or whatever you're using to print. So you can use like some Windex or even just water is fine because you want um, you want a nice clean so that way uh, you won't get any dirt or something when you're printing. And there's many different materials that you can use to get things to adhere. Like this one here, it's just a regular old blue tape from the hardware store. Or you can use something like Kapton tape, which I have here. And I would recommend going with a bit of a thicker or wider size. So that way it, you don't have to add as many strips to it when you're um, setting up. Or you can use hairspray, like I have here, extra strong hold. Yeah, it works pretty well in what I've used for. I wouldn't recommend using Kapton tape because it is quite expensive and every single time that you um, try to print something onto it, you're going to have to actually replace it because some of it will peel off and you'll have to pretty much do that every print. And I would go with hairspray because it's only like four dollars it's really easy to apply and you can use multiple prints without having to um, clean it and wash it out and stuff like that okay so basically what you want to do is get a nice layer it's you don't want to do like light like that that's not really going to do anything you want to get a nice good coating so now you can kind of see that it's all over and you want to try to get it as even as possible. You don't have to get right on the edges unless you're going to be using the whole um, print, uh, the print or the build size. So you want to let that um, dry a bit before you do the next coat. And once you've done two, you have a pretty good, um, you have a pretty good uh, adhesion onto the glass. And to help dry uh, the drying process, you can also put it on a on the uh, printer and uh, turn it on so that way it heats up a bit and it will dry faster. So after it's uh, dry it takes about uh, anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. You want to let it uh, sit nice and low. Uh, then you just want to do another coat so you're just going to do the same thing just adding it on. And basically what you're trying to do is get it so that way um, when you look at it it looks like it's just at part of the glass so like you can see, let's see if I can get the lighting right. So like you can see towards the end here, it's um, not as coated evenly as it is here. It looks like one continuous piece of glass kind of, so it's all shiny. And here you can kind of see where I missed some parts. So you want to try to get it to look like that, how it is in the middle. And then once that's done, you want to let it dry and then you're going to be ready to print. Okay, so now that the second hook, the second coat has um, finished drying, then you're um, then you can just put uh, the glass onto the heated bed. Okay, place it right on, and then I use binder clips to um, hold it down. So with some of um, these heated beds, they're oh, I guess a little on the cheap side. So they actually are a little bit warped when um, you print. So what I do is I only add it, add the clips to here instead of on the top. So that way the glass can remain a little bit flatter 
than the heated bed itself. That's just something that I was playing around with and it works better. So, like I said, there's other options if you don't want to use the hairspray. Just That's what I find is the easiest. So, another thing you want to um, do to make sure you get good adhesion is make sure you um, adjust the, um, the level of the extruder and you want it as close as possible to the bed. You know, if you're using this printer, they have a metal sheet where you can stick underneath the uh, extruder and see if um, it's uh, close to the heated bed, and that gives you a pretty good idea of how you want, how close you want it. Otherwise, it's about the same size as like an index card or something like that. And that's pretty much it. You know, want to make like with this, I made it so that way you can level out each corner, so that way you get a really level um, uh, build platform, which is makes a dramatic improvement in printing things because if it's not close enough, it's just going to print like right on the first, um, right on top of the hairspray and won't actually go into it, um, which is important. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And I think also another important thing is um, when you're doing this is you have to do a lot of testing because some filaments stick better than others. And if you have, if some filaments work, um, stick better at certain temperatures. So messing around with the temperatures of the heat, heated bed and the extruder, right? So I think I have this set to 70 and the extruder set to 200. And that's worked pretty well for me. Let me see if I can. So this is just one thing. So you can see how it's really level and it's not um curved. The bottom is a little, little rough, but with some more tuning, I can get it smoothened out. So yeah, that's it. If you guys have any questions? Leave them in the comments down below. See you next time.